Hello, and welcome to the brand new Wayward Skein podcast. Um, I'm Lynn, and I'm known as Toll Baby on Ravelry. Um, I'm pretty much all over the internet as Toll Baby, so um, yeah. Uh, if you watch the two tangled, sorry, I'm shaking the table, which is shaking the camera. <laughs> Oops. Um, so I'm trying to do this on my cell phone. It's the first time I've tried to do this. So um, I don't know how it's going to work out. I didn't bring my laptop to Chicago with me. I'm actually sitting in Rob's dining room right now. And uh, so I, anyway, this is my new podcast. Today is Saturday, May 26th. This is episode one. And I'm going to jump right into knitting. This is going to be a short podcast because I'm just trying things out and seeing how, um, you know, what kind of format. And I just realized I left my notes over there. But that's okay. So uh, the only knitting I've done, and those of you who watched Two Tangled Skeins last week, that's the sweater. I had to cut the yarn. <laughs> because where I had picked up the stitches on the ends was so tight um, Sue had to force it onto the needles that she loaned me. Um, I couldn't do it, so I handed it to her, and she just, she got it on there, but then I couldn't get it to slide back up onto the needles from the cable. So, um, it got cut. I'm calling it a swatch. But I am knitting the Harvest Sweater by Tin Can Knits. It's one of their simple collection. So, they have eight free patterns that they've made that are sized from newborn to 4XL. Um, they are sweaters that are meant to help teach you how to knit, uh, teach you new new techniques, new way, new constructions, things like that. Uh, the flax is one of those and I've knit many of those. So this one is called the Harvest. It's a gorgeous little cardigan that actually does not have a button band. If you look here. Well, there, I mean, there's a button band, but you don't put buttons on it. This is what the child one looks like. So this is a nifty feature of Tin Can Knits patterns. Whoops, sorry, it's not focusing there. Um, so that's a schematic of how this sweater is constructed and how the measurements work out. So I started again this morning. <laughs> and it almost looks like yarn DNA. It's sweater DNA. <laughs> Except there's only one twirly thing. So this is where I am so far. I've got about three quarters of the neck this part actually goes around the neck and then you pick up stitches around the three sides to construct the rest of the sweater and this continues down the front into the button band so if you see this area here this is what i'm knitting right now and then it will continue down after i pick up the stitches so that's what i've been doing um this is knit out of lorna's laces and i actually have a skein of it here that I haven't balled up yet. So I do have a skein of it. Sorry about the lighting. I If I turn the, the up overhead light on, it's way too bright. Um, so this is Lorna's Laces. It's their Haymarket, which is a 100% blue faced Lester worsted wool. It will felt, it's not super wash. And it is in the colorway lookbook, I think. Lookbook, there we go. Sorry, I'm gonna have to figure out the autofocus thing. Normally I would be using the camera on my laptop. And I'm sorry, every time I touch anything, the camera shakes. It's sitting in a napkin holder on top of a Tupperware container on top of a DVD case <laughs> to get the right angle. <laughs> so yes, that's very sad. But there we are. It's because I'm not at home and I don't have my stuff. So this is all living in this gorgeous bag that Selma who is Little Creek Designs CA on Etsy made for me. It's a beautiful bag. It's very well constructed. It reminds me a lot of Selma because it has some of her favorite colors in it. It's got some gray, it's got some yellow, and it's, how to put this? It's bright and eclectic like she is. I'm not talking physically, I'm talking more personality-wise, because she does tend to wear a lot of muted colors, but that, that reminds me of Selma because she's a bright and eclectic personality. So uh, that's all I have for knitting, sadly. And this will not only be a knitting podcast. This is going to be knitting, what I'm reading, what I'm watching, what I'm doing with my life, 
knitting is going to be a big part of it, obviously, because a lot of what I do is knitting. Those of you who have been following Two Tangles games for a while will know that I haven't been knitting for a very long time. <laughs> I haven't been able to knit much since last September. Um, a repetitive, well, the way my workstation was set up when I started my job back in June, last June, <laughs> Um, it wasn't set up ideally and I was having to lift my arm to, to get at my mouse and my keyboard and it caused a repetitive, um, strain injury, a repetitive motion injury in the AC joint and which has caused chronic bursitis and tendonitis. So I've been going to physio and I've been exercising and lots of fun stuff. And it has improved quite a bit over the last year, three months, four months. Sorry, I just have a sip of my tea here. Um, it has improved a lot recently, so I've been able to knit a little bit more. Um, so one of the things I like to talk about is tea, because I love tea. I'm a tea addict, and I'm going to have to learn how to where to look with this camera, phone, whatever, because the camera's there. And I'm really not used to the camera being there. I'm used to the camera being, like, up in the middle, so... Sorry if I seem to be looking off to the sides. Um, I'm, I'm getting used to this. It's my first episode. It's all good. So um, my tea today is simple, plain old Celestial Seasonings Peppermint. I don't have a very vast tea collection at Rob's house, unlike at my house where I have an insane tea collection. So this week is a little bit boring, but hey, there's nothing better on a hot summer day it's May. <laughs> and yet, it's hot. So there's nothing better, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing better than a nice cold cup of peppermint tea. And it's cold. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, one of the other things I've been doing is I've been doing a lot of reading recently. And this is what I'm reading currently. I'm, I think I'm actually like one chapter from being done. I started it Thursday on the bus. I read most of it on the plane yesterday. <laughs> And today I just have not been able to put it down. So I'll knit 10 rows, read a chapter. Knit 10 rows, read a chapter. It's called Here on Earth, and it's by Alice Hoffman. It's part of the Oprah Book Club. I don't watch Oprah, so it's a moot point. Uh, it's She's a best-selling author. It's a very well-written book. I, I love the dragonfly on the cover, by the way. Love that. I'm a sucker for dragonflies. I can't say it has been a comfortable read. It has been a very difficult read because, although I'm flying through it, um, it deals with abusive relationships and without giving too much away, I'm having a lot of trouble reading it. If you've been in an abusive relationship, if you are in an abusive relationship, you will have a lot of difficulty reading this. You're not going to want to read this. Um, it's hard to face. And it's hard to not want to shake the main character. <laughs> it's uh, it's difficult because, you know, anybody who knows what a, an abusive relationship is like will understand. Uh, for those of you who don't, I highly recommend you read it. It's an excellent read. It's a great book. It will not be fluff. You will It will make you think and it will make you uncomfortable and... That's, that's that, basically. So, um, I'm very much enjoying it. I'm almost done. And tomorrow, I'm very excited, I get to start reading this. I've been wanting to see the movie ever since it came out, but I want to read the books first. So I may not end up seeing it in the theater. And I'll be honest, when I was last here at Easter, um, I came for Passover and I we had Rob's family and friends over for Seder. So as almost as soon as I got home, I saw the preview for this movie. And I was like, I have to see this. But I really want to read the books first. I'm a sucker that way. I don't enjoy the movie as much, or I don't enjoy the books as much if I've seen the movie first. And in reading the books is important to me, so I'd rather read the books first. So I actually <laughs> ordered... The entire series. There's one more. <laughs> I actually ordered the whole series. 
Um, I got them from thrift books, so the whole series cost me about 20 bucks. If you can find stuff on thrift books, definitely worth the money. Uh, it's free shipping within the US, so that's why I didn't get them till today, because I had them delivered to Rob's house. Which I won't be able to do for much longer, but I can do it now, so hooray for that. Because um, he's going to be moving up by where I am, so I won't be able to use them as a mail drop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we may just have to fork out the money for a um, a post office box in uh, Ogdensburg or Messina or somewhere near there because that's all very close to where I live. But uh, I, I'm very excited. It's five books. I honestly, I know this is the first one. I don't know the order of the rest of them. I'll figure it out before I get past the first one. But I've been very much re looking forward to reading this. If you have seen the movie, tell me if you liked it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> But tell me if you liked it, because I'm really hoping they do it justice. I know this has been a very big series for a lot of people. Um, you know, similar to His Dark Materials. And, you know, it's, it's a YA series that really has affected a lot of people. So I've very much been looking forward to it. I managed to get four, no, three of the books in the same printing series. These three are all the same. The Many Waters, this uh, Swiftly Tilting Planet, and The Wrinkle in Time are all from the same printing or publishers, whatever. These are different. This, uh, this is a much older copy, and this looks like a much more recent one, and they're different publishers as well, because these are all Yearling Newberry. This is Adele, and this is a Square Fish. Well, this one is number five, apparently, because it has a five on it, but I'll figure that out. A uh, site that's really good for figuring things like that out is fantasticfiction.com. They're really good at having complete listings of, uh, yeah, I'm shaking the thing again. So, um, I don't really have much else to discuss with you guys. I'm in town for Rob's son's graduation this weekend. So that's exciting. Uh, he's 22. He just finished college. He was going to the Milwaukee School of Engineering, which is one of the, the country's top engineering schools. Um, he's one of only 40% of his, um, his class that started at the same time as he did. Only 40% of them managed to finish the degree in four years. So it's a pretty big accomplishment. Uh, it's a really rough school. It, like Not rough. It's a hard school. Um, you have to be really smart to get in and you have to work your butt off to stay in. So we're all very, very proud of him. Rob is actually at the graduation ceremony right now. I'm not because there's a set number of tickets per graduate and I really wanted his grandparents to see him graduate. So it was a little more important that they go than that I go. And, uh, his mom is there with her husband. And so I'm here recording for you guys. So that's what's been going on. Uh, there will be a blog post with a couple of pictures of the graduation because Rob has my camera, uh, my big camera. I'm not, I'll just shut up now. <laughs> you can tell I'm not used to doing this on my own. It's a little bit nerve wracking. And I, I'm also sitting in the dining room, facing the kitchen, looking at the dishes that I really should have washed after <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit of a distraction. Hopefully at home it'll be a little less flighty. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this. And I will be back with Sue next weekend for Two Tangles Games. Um, I'm not sure how often I'm going to record this podcast. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it'll depend on the response and, and if anybody's actually interested in watching it. So <laughs> there we are. That's about it, and we'll see how this goes. So I really hope you had uh, you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.